Welcome to the Foodie TV. Today we're in Little Saigon, Westminster, checking out a place that's known for their pho ga, which is chicken pho. And this place is called Pho Ga Hai Bun. They are famous for this specific bowl. I am excited because they have this special egg called Jung Nong, and what that translates to is young chicken eggs. This item is very hard to find. It's here, and you guys are gonna get to see us eat it and try it, and it's gonna come up in this video right now. Guys, we got our bowl and the aroma hits you right in the face. It smells incredible. This is the place that's known for chicken pho. And you come here for chicken pho. And they have all kinds of stuff. We ordered this chicken pho special, which is a combination of the chicken thigh and chicken breast. We also got an extra serving of chicken organs. Wow. A mix of all the organs, hearts, liver. And then we got the young egg yolks. Yes which I've never seen around here at all. So this is the first time I've seen here. And it's just like Vietnam. I was in Vietnam a couple months ago and chicken pho they serve over there has everything in your bowl. And they serve it like this, so I'm super excited. I am super excited as well too. I've never seen this at restaurants and it's supposed to be like extinct. Like you're not supposed to even find this anywhere <laughs> anymore. So when David told me that these were here, I had to come check it out. And I was so surprised when they brought this dish out. And can't wait to try it. All right, it. let's can't wait to dig try right it. in. I say we try the broth first. Oh yeah. We gotta try the broth with, without anything added just so we can get the pure flavor. Oh yes, you guys. And check out that broth, you guys. It is super clear and it has a little bit of glistening, chicken fat oils on the top. Oh my God, I love it. it looks just so good. All right, let's try just the broth first. Cheers. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, it's so deceiving to look at the broth because it's so clear that you don't, wouldn't think that it would be that much flavor in it. So much flavor. There was notes of sweetness, oh my savory, man. and a little bit of richness, and uh, like the chicken flavor was very pronounced when you chicken taste flavor, the Yeah, and then you taste the, the flavor of the green onions and the cilantro. Oh, wow. The coming through. Oh, such a clean broth. And so flavorful. Like just the broth alone could be easily enjoyed with just the noodles. So comforting. It's very comforting. Very comforting. Oh man. Okay. It's, it's already a great start to the pho guy, wow. guys. The broth is what makes everything delicious. All right. Now let's try some of the noodles. Just the noodles. Here we go. Ooh. So usually when you eat pho, there's the thinner rice noodles. Mm -hmm. These ones are a little bit thicker. Just a little bit. Just a little bit thicker, little bit. but they do uh, taste a little softer. I mean, texture-wise, it's a little softer. Okay, so let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Nice, soft, little chew, chewy noodles. One to chomp it. down and the noodles release from my mouth right away. Oh. It was that soft, it was so nice and soft. Man, so Amazing. good. We're gonna start adding these. Look at these egg yolks. All different sizes and shapes. That they is look so, crazy. so good. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna put some in here into my bowl just to hydrate it a little bit and warm it up a little bit. All right, this is how they do it in Vietnam, guys. All right, guys, we have the chicken here that's also separated. It's nice and broiled, all rendered out, so there's not fat greasy on it. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in there, rehydrate it, get it a little warm so we can enjoy it with all of the bites that we're gonna get with the pho. Which one are we going with uh, first? I'm gonna go for the meat and then chase right. it with some eggs. I got the chicken breast right here. Same here, chicken oh, breast. Oh, we got a dip. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, so guys. So we got this sauce. Tip here, they always come with this ginger fish sauce here that you normally would dip all of your chicken uh, proteins inside. Um, we like to spice it up with some chili. Yeah, I'm gonna add some so chili gonna, in there. Right now. I like a lot of chili. I like the, the heat on yeah. that. Yeah. Fresh chili, you can see that they grounded this up, you know, probably today. And uh, I like chili, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a good amount in there. And make sure to mix things up so you're not only just gonna eat the chili. Wow, oh, look at that texture. Wow, I didn't realize how thick it was. Look at that, that's nice and thick. It's kind of like a slurry. So that's gonna stick onto the chicken meat very well. Uh, let's go ahead. Try that with the chicken. And just look at that, you guys. Perfection on a bite. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Take Cheers. To the bite of the chicken. Mm. 
Nice, tender, still juicy, not mm. dry. That was good. That mm. sauce mm -hmm. was so good with it. A little sweetness to sweetness, it. Sweetness, spicy, gingery. Open up all my sinuses right now. Oh, that was good. Mm. Mm. And the moment I've been waiting for. We're going with the yolk now? Oh yeah. All right. Gotta chase the chicken parts with the chicken yeah. eggs. There you go, Here we guys. Go. I'm gonna dip it in that sauce. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. If you've never had young egg yolks before, wow. guys, it's totally different. It looks like it would be kind of like just a very creamy yolk, but on the outside, it was like a yolk that would cook all the way, but on the inside, it was like medium rare. Cook. Yeah. Like it was still kind of creamy. It wasn't like very it's not grainy. As, it's not as chalky as you get like yeah. a regular egg yolk. Yeah. And then there's a little bounce and chewiness to it. Like if you bite into it, it kind of pops. Mm. That was amazing. No, nah, it's so good. It. Wow. Should I have gizzard? Oh, yeah. I love gizzard because of the chewy texture and All crunch right. to it. I'm going to dip. It's always a favorite. Mm, yep. Good. Nice and crunchy. Oh, we can't forget the the vinegar onions. So you guys, these onions, they slice it really thin and then they just basically put in vinegar. It's vinegar and sugar mixed together mm -hmm. and then uh, sprayed on to the onions. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Refreshing. That's always a good side to get with your pho, whether it's pho gap or even uh, beef pho. Beef pho. Yeah. So you guys know how in sushi there's ginger and you kind of use that as a palate cleanser to uh, clear your mouth before you go to the next sushi. This kind of acts in the same way. Let's say you took a bite of the egg, you want to wash that away, have some of that onion vinegar, eat that, get your mouth ready for the next bite. So definitely highly recommend that as a palate cleanser and it's also as a very good condiment on the so side good. as well. All right, I'm gonna go for another gizzard. I think I have a liver here. I haven't tried that yet, so I'm gonna go for the liver. I had the liver last time. Mm. Gizzard. And then you gotta chase it with the Vietnamese coriander. Mm. That liver wasn't chalky, nice and creamy. None of that metallic aftertaste to it, and it's fresh. So good. That's how you know it's fresh. So, also the thing about uh, chicken pho or any like chicken noodle dish, they usually comes with uh, Vietnamese coriander, and you always chase it with that. Makes mm. it so good. Yeah, the fresh herbs, guys, don't ever sleep on that. Like Vietnamese people, they have. They grow herbs as like a hobby over there and they use every single herb when they're eating food with it. And right, bro. You know, it's just, it makes the dish just that much better and when you're eating it. One last thing, you got the Chinese donuts. Here we go, guys. That you dip into the broth. Yes. So it soaks it all up. This is traditional um, way to eat it in Vietnam. So let's go ahead and try it. Try it out, dip it. Nice, light, airy Chinese donut. Mm. Soaking up all the broth. Yep, and it was still crispy as I bit mm -hmm. into it, so. It's not oily. Sometimes I get these Chinese donuts where it just sits in oil and then kind of gets too, too heavy as I'm trying to eat with my food, but this one is perfect. Light, crispy, not oily. Makes your food more enjoyable. That is so good. I'm almost finished with mine. Wow. And guys, we didn't even put any lemon or lime, mm -hmm. any chilies, any kind of sauce in our broth just yet. It's that good. Yep, just as is, is already so bomb. All right, I think the last thing we should do is we should add all the stuff now. Yeah. And then we have to take a bite. The ultimate bite. So we're gonna go ahead now. This is the basil. We got the Thai basil here. Throw some in. Thai basil. I'm gonna put some Lemon. Lemon. Ooh, they even got a blanche uh, bean sprout. So it's already kind of cooked for you and that's the more safe way to eat it. <laughs> yeah, and then you, it also doesn't cool your broth down. So your yeah, broth is going to so stay perfect. warm a lot longer. Oh, wow, that lemon did not want to squeeze its juice. It just kind of wanted to fall in there. And the thing you got to love about Vietnamese food, you guys, I know I might be biased, but all the fresh vegetables that come with it every time, it's just so bomb. It adds a nice freshness and all bunch of different flavors and textures to this. I absolutely agree. Uh, every time you're eating Vietnamese food, always expect a side dish of some greens. 
it's and always it's always available. Place, yeah, they do have uh, beef pho, but they only have like one dish of it, so you don't want. Definitely don't come here for the <laughs> beef pho. They're known yeah. for the chicken pho, so you come here for the chicken pho. Right, and in our area that we eat in, there um, it's essentially a little Saigon, and there is so much Vietnamese food here. If you want beef pho, there's another spot, and we can show you that you guys yeah. that in the next video. Cool. Uh, but for today, we're focusing on pho gà, and this is the spot right. to get it at. When okay, I got all my stuff here. You ready? Mine. Put it on my spoon, just like how we usually eat it. Oh, all right. right. I, got, I got it on my spoon. <laughs> I got it on my chopstick. I'm just gonna go for it. All right. Cheers, guys. Go. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. So good, guys. So good. Here's the center of the egg. I don't know if I showed you guys that yet. Mmm. And in my mouth. Incredible. I think this is probably the best chicken pho I've had in this area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm more of a beef pho kind of guy, so it's very rare that you see me eat chicken. But after trying this place, I'll probably come back just because they have this super secret item here that I have not known about, and now I do know, gotta come back for it. <laughs> it's, it's a secret menu, guys. <laughs> Keep it on the download. Oh yeah, it's not even on the menu, right? You it's didn't not see, on the menu. It's not even on the menu, you so you have to know, how have to to know about it to even yeah. get that. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment on where we should try next or where your favorite pho place is. And we'll go there, try it out. We would yep. love to hear from you. Other than that, we'll see you on the next episode of the Foodie TV. Peace.